love the music in this game. Da -da -da -da. Okay, we are live. Now let me just go promote this. <laughs> wow. And let me refresh so I can actually get to the stream. Yeah, so you can chat. actually see oh, it. Yay. <laughs> it doesn't exist. Wow. Trade post. Copy link. Copy the link. Copy, Copy the link. Yeah. My community tab. I'm gonna go grab some water, water, water. Uh, I think I know. I, I already have a water bottle, but it's like I I'm already like halfway through it, so I yeah, might I have, have a water bottle here that I am like I only have a quarter of a water bottle. Here. Oh yeah. Full, so yeah. I just grab the full water bottle. I'll grab another one when I need it. I mean, yeah. I'll just do, I'll just do that if it's like while you're setting it up, anyways. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, I get you, I get you. Can I see the stream? It's there! We're live! Well, we're already live. Yeah, we're, we're already live. <laughs> you know what I mean. Yeah, no, I get you, I get you. Now, to wait for the chat to arrive. <laughs> Yeah. Because the chat, for some reason. Yeah. Because the chat, for some reason. You mean okay. to me. Okay. I am. I am. I'm on it now. I. Di oh wait. Fuck. I forgot. I need to go and promote it on Discord. Wait. Uh, wait. Did you only do it on Twitter? I thought you just did it on. No, I did it on YouTube. I did it on the tubes. Wait, you promoted it on? Oh, on your main channel, right? Eh? Yes, on the main channel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, yeah. but you didn't even do it on Twitter either. No, I mean, I don't, I don't use Twitter anymore. To, to be completely honest with you, I don't really use Twitter. No, anymore. but it's a good place to promote things. Eh, yeah, I'm, I'm chilling. I'm chilling. Ah, uh, uh, there's the chat. We don't have anybody here. Wow. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Time to pop out the chat. And I can just pull the chat over to here where it belongs. And now I pull up the guy. Okay, now I should be all set. Yeah, I should be all set now. Okay, now we can actually start the game. <laughs> uh, continue. Uh, fuck, I'm trying to remember which save the news from. 26. Oh, I think it is this one. Yeah, 26. Uh, yeah, it's this one, yeah. Yeah, yeah it would be the yeah, latest one. Yeah, that, that should be the latest one. Oh yeah, that's right! I forgot! We left off because I did this shit backwards! Yeah! Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> Good season, new dialogue? No, I'm not afraid of this guy. Okay, cool. <laughs> Studio main gate. <laughs> yeah, cool. And then I'm gonna move. Dressing room. Aha, here we go. <laughs> Progress! Wow, finally! <laughs> oh, fuck. Let me yeah. drink water. I, I, my brain was like, yeah, we're starting to stream. <laughs> Forgetting. Wait, we have the voice act. Doi. Yeah, we, we have to do our jobs, DP. You know how it is. <laughs> yeah, I should have drank this water <laughs> instead of talking. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> oh, fuck, you stole me. Do it. <laughs> Hold on a second. Let me mute real quick. <laughs> oh, poor DP. <laughs> uh, I 
swear, every every single week, I always say, I'll find someone. I'll find someone. I never do. Yeah. I always forget. Every single week, I always forget. And it's not until the day of that I'm like, fuck, I didn't find a third person to help with voices. Shit. You have two weeks with this one. I did have two weeks with this one. <laughs> Look, man. Look, man. Real life has been kicking my ass, low key. Oh, okay. I heard. I heard. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> don't worry. Don't worry. Don't yeah. mind. Don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing here? Oh, I was just cleaning up the dressing room. I guess WP won't be using it anymore. So. What? Why? But WP is innocent! Yes, and I'm really grateful for all you've done. But... This week in the last episode of The Steel Samurai. What? No! <laughs> Ow. <laughs> I can tell. No, I can tell. I could tell you strained your voice for that one. <laughs> All right. I was wondering if I could ask you about Mr. Hammer. Yeah. Yes. On the day of the murder, he went to Studio Two. Oh, I thought he went to Studio One. <laughs> oh, <fuck. laughs> he stole a steel samurai costume too. What? Why would Mr. Hammer do something like that? Hmm. Oh. I guess that rumor must be true then. Oh? The rumor? Yeah, Ms. Vasquez, that producer, has some kind of hold on Hammer. She has some dirt on him. He'd do anything she said, apparently. Some dirt? What dirt? Uh, dirt, you know, bad stuff. Um, I know what dirt means. About five years ago, they were filming a movie starring Mr. Hammer. They were using the new studio, Studio 2. Some sort of accident happened during filming. Hello, Desiru-chan. Desiru-chan, how are you? I knew ah, Frizzy yes. Ace and came to the no. <laughs> Amazing timing. <laughs> Happy to have you here. They left the film set the way it was, too. Film set? Was that trailer part of the film set then? What do you mean, The Last Steel Samurai? I know it's a shock, but nothing can be done to save it now. Who yeah. really did kill Mr. Hammer? Also signed the Steel Samurai death warrant. No, no! Also, I hear that Global Studios is going to change its programming. They're not going to make kids show anymore. What? Why? Hey, well, like, you know, good for you to be here. <laughs> We're glad to have you. Hell yeah. It's sad. That's what Global Studios decided. Happy to have you here, and happy to hear that you finished your college course stuff. I've totally been fucking up her voice the entire time. Oh no, I know you have, but it's totally okay. I mean, we haven't done this in like two weeks. I just either. remember she's supposed to be navely. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Why aren't you going to make kids shows anymore? The studio big like don't want the steel samurai around anymore. They want to forget all this ever happened. They want it quiet, you understand? How can they just do that? 
What about all the kids who love the steel samurai? At least I'm consistent with her voice. Yeah, that's true. Well, I mean, she's like the most prominent character so far besides Yeah, Phoenix. no, I think I'll be consistent with her fucking voice. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's okay. I'm sure the kids will be fine. You'll find a new hero to follow. No, that can't be true. If the program just ends, they'll be heartbroken for sure. Nick, say something! Um, yeah. I think evidence rather than words is called for here. Here, take a look at this. Take that! Take that! <laughs> uh, I don't even know what I'm supposed to show her anyway. <laughs> um, the scrapbook, maybe? I don't know. Take that! Take that. And this is... A fan collected all of these photographs. The kids love the Steel Samurai. The show shouldn't be canceled just so some adults can save face. I would think you would understand that better than anyone. Hmm. You're right. Okay. But what can I do? Well, for starters, you can tell me something. Tell me what is it that Global Studios is so intent on hiding. Tell me about this incident five years ago. Okay. You, when you said for starters, it's like, for starters, give me your wallet. <laughs> no, I was literally thinking that. For starters, give me your money. <laughs> <laughs> give me your fucking money. <laughs> uh, could you tell us what happened five years ago? Well, I can tell you what I've heard. Apparently five years ago, someone died, and it was Hammer's fault. Someone died? It was an accident, of course. Anyway, the producer, Miss Vasquez, managed to hush it up. And that's the dirt she had on Mr. Hammer? And that's why Mr. Hammer would do anything Miss Vasquez asked him to do. Oh yeah, no, I, I just like to imagine that he's just like very casually giving the evidence over to the person and they're just randomly screaming, Take that! I don't know. But it was an accident, right? Why didn't they just make it public? Well, you know Mr. Hammer was a big star back then. They are afraid about what would happen to his career if word got out. I see. You know who knows more about this? Miss Oldbag. She was here at the studios back then, you know? Thanks. We'll try asking her. God. If she'll talk. Oh, God. Are you, are you ready to be old bag? No. <laughs> well, too bad. No, I'm joking. What? You're still slinking around? If you like the place so much, why don't you take me over for me? <laughs> the old windbag doesn't look so good. <laughs> uh, everybody's doing their darndest to forget Hammer. Who do you think made Global Studios what it was today? Is today. Hammer. It's all due to Hammer. He's starting to process the mouth, Nick. Maybe we should keep a safe distance. <laughs> um, I wanted to ask you about five years ago. Oh no! <laughs> Who told? Who did you hear that from? I uh, uh huh. <laughs> Nickels. He's in the street. Chad behind the question. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Panda. That's funny. Oh, that's funny. And hello, Panda. N Nichols? Nichols. Nick? Penny Nichols. That's this one we talked to. Uh, oh, right. Uh, anyway, we heard about the accident. It was during filming with Jack Hammer. 
He killed a man, didn't he? Whoop a snuffer? Dredging up dirt on someone's hat like that, and then. and the recently departed now left. <laughs> yes, scary Asian lady. She is very, very scary. Yeah, she's spooky. I suppose you think this is fun. <laughs> no, I'm just doing my job to protect Mr. Powers. And you claim that Hammer stole Powers' costume. Ah, you expect me to believe that rubbish? Or do you have some kind of proof? Proof that Hammer stole Powers' costume? Hmm, I have proof. I'm sorry, Miss Oldbag, but I do have proof. I can prove that Mr. Hammer stole Mr. Powers' costume. Let me see. Not the autopsy. No. Not that one. No. 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 Uh, yeah, I think sleeping pills. Take that! Take that. Here's my proof. What? What's a little empty bottle supposed to prove? It's a bottle of sleeping pills. With Mr. Hammer's <laughs> fingerprints on it. Oh, what does that prove? I'm sure that old Hammer had some sleepless nights. Where's the proof that he would use... He used those pills on power? <laughs> Mr. Powers yeah. ate a T-bone steak for lunch, correct? Oh, well, yes, so... This is the plate that he used to eat that steak. There are traces of sleeping pill powder on the plate. <laughs> now, see, that's what he has, has a point. Old bag really be working out them shoulders. <laughs> She's great at yoga. <laughs> I see. Poor, poor hammer. You did wrong, Hammer. Rest your soul. Miss Old Bag? Okay, you win. I'll talk. I'm tired, see? Tired of holding it all in. You look tired. Miss Old Bag. You're right. Five years ago, there was an accident. A fatal accident. What's worse, a paparazzi took a photo of it. That photo, well, it caused quite a stir. And guess who made it all better? Let's get She has ties to the Mafia. Oh. She silenced that paparazzi. With murder? That was the beginning. After that, she became a force to be reckoned with here at the studio. I see. But you have to understand. Paul Hammer never meant any harm to anyone. This old bag. Hold on a minute. Miss Old Bag. Here, take this. Huh? A photograph? Look at this graph! No, wait. No, I was literally thinking of that. Oh, shit! That's why it was damaged! I knew that, I knew, I knew that like, you know, rail was dangerous. <laughs> this is the picture. Yeah, it's you know it's interesting because we because we both because we both like you know pondered the idea of someone dying on one of these actually in the very beginning of the case. Well, you you pondered on it and I had to go with it. I already knew. Oh, <laughs> okay, yeah. Well, either way, is. But this... they are dangerous looking, like. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, they're sharp. I'm surprised they still have them after the incident. They should really yeah. get rid of them. <laughs> is they really should? Yeah, is. Is this the trailer in Studio 2? Emma was supposed to fight with a bad guy on top of those stairs there. He pushed the other actor, and the man fell onto the flower box fence. Damn. But, but how did you get this? It was a long time ago. I don't feel much like talking about it. I understand. 
Wow. <laughs> oh my god, wait, no, imagine if I, like, imagine if I stream Graveyard Keeper. <laughs> if I did, if I did that, it'd be like a 24-hour stream. You know, you know how bad it is when I play that game? I'm, like, I have such a bad addiction. Yeah, no, I was playing Stardew earlier. Trust me, I understand that <laughs> Okay. Um, I'm assuming we can probably maybe go talk to Vasquez. Oh, no. Okay, cool. Uh, I, I think this might be the correct thing. What? Like, I think she's the next person you talk to now that you have the photograph. Look at this photograph. Oh, right, because I already did talk to her. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. again, we did everything. <laughs> yes, I know. I did the dumb thing, and I did shit backwards. <laughs> She's not even looking. Oh, fuck. What was her voice? <laughs> you did, like, a... um. You had, like, an yeah. accent. Yeah. What? What? Uh, where did you get that? I... Well, old bag. Uh, old? She needs the security lady. It's an old bag, Nick. Right. Uh. Anyway, Miss Vasquez, you hid this incident from the press, didn't you? And you used it to control Mr. Hammer. Hmm. The wind. The? Huh? He's gotten stronger, don't you think, the wind? Your conversation interests me. Let's talk about it more inside the trailer. Nick, you went inside the trailer. Next thing you know, I get murdered in the trailer. Hmm, you can. Well then, what was that you were talking about? Why is she so eager to talk all of a sudden? Miss Vasquez, you were using that in the accident. You were blackmailing Mr. Hammer so you can control him, weren't you? And that's why he was doing kids shows for petty change. I spell everything out for you. Think, what would it be if it wasn't an accident? Manslaughter? No, I'm joking. Uh, no. No way. You mean Mr. Henry did it on purpose? That is what I mean. Where's your proof? Can you prove it? Hmm. Just think. Would he have let me run his life for five years over a mere accident? 
and I run him hard, believe you me. But the security lady said it was an accident. Oh, well, she was a big fan of Emma, as you see. She jumped on the reporter who brought that photo into the studio. She rested out of his hand, she did. And gave him a few bruises, too. So that's why she had the photo. He's an old fool. Of course, all the reporter would need is the negative. He could have made a copy. But he didn't. The only copy of that photo is the one you hold. Give it to me now. What? This is valuable evidence. Boys. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, we're getting jumped. You know what you were joking about? <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, no. I'm gonna get... I my mouth shut, man. <laughs> Bro, I'm gonna get murdered by the mob. You're gonna get shimmered. I'm gonna get, get shot. Oh, shit, here we go again. Uh -oh. Who are they? Professional. They're good at erasing various things. What do you think? Would you like to be erased? What? what? The trial ends tomorrow. How unfortunate. It's a shame you'll have to miss it. Uh, tell me why. And why do you want this photograph so badly? <laughs> Tell me why. <laughs> this is Mr. <laughs> Hammer's dirt. No. Why should D. Vasquez care about it at all? Hmm. I'm sure you'll have plenty of time to think about that way you're going. So long, friend. Boys, erase away. I wasn't gonna do it again. <laughs> I thought about this. Oh my god, of course, Gumshoe. Hold it right there. My motherfucking man. He's I heard everything, man. pal. D. Vasquez, you're coming down to the precinct with me now. Gumshoe to the rescue. <laughs> the one time I'm actually happy to see Gumshoe. Hmm. Not the bad. Very well. It appears this contest would be decided tomorrow, then. In the court. I'll be looking forward to it. Gumshoe may not be super, super good at his job most of the time, but motherfucker comes in clutch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Love it, man. Yeah. Hey, you okay, pal? Sorry I was a little late with my entry. I don't get many chances to practice that sort of thing. Detective Gumshoe. I need to go and uh, do the thing at 9. It's very uh, nice. Yeah, go, go for it. Yeah, it's fine. We're wrapping up the investigation anyway. You can just continue. Yeah, I'll just get yeah. it. Yep. Huh? Don't mention it, pal. Just doing my job. Sorry, it's just I wanted to say that line ever since I became a detective. <laughs> okay, I've got one more job to do today. I'm sure we'll run into each other again soon. And who's at the bottom? D. Vasquez. Damn, that took like half an hour to do. Okay. Time to go to court. Time to go to court. Time to go to court. Yeah. Time to go to court. Time to go to court. Yeah. <laughs> okay. October 20th, 10 a.m. District Court, courtroom number four. Court 
is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. Oh, no, he isn't here to do Edgeworth. Big Sedge, Big Sedge. Right. There, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Today will be the final day of this trial. I hope both the prosecution and the defense will be able to present decisive evidence. Very okay. well. Welcome back. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth. <sighs> your opening statement. Yesterday's session, the defense presented us with a new theory for the case. He claimed that the scene of the crime was, in fact, Studio 2. Today, I will call on people present in Studio 2 to trailer that day. Brain broken. <laughs> <laughs> I'm skipping half the words. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It's all good. It's all good. I'm trying to remember the correct accent. No, it is. No, it is. You're 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 good. You're gooch. <laughs> From their testimony, the truth will become clear. Mm. Mm, very well. Edgeworth seems a bit on edge today. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -da. <laughs> you may call your first witness, Mr. Edgeworth. <clears throat> the prosecution called Miss Vasquez to the staff. Mr. Vasquez, the producer, was present in the Studio 2 trailer that day. I, I, I just have to say, I, I, I don't remember if it's actually going to happen here or not, but I know that, that there is usually a uh, case that we've seen so far, a trend, where really has a hard time getting their occupation. Oh yeah, no, I've been enjoying it. I'm, I'm very excited to see like how it's going to, uh, you know, <laughs> how it's going to be this time around. Like, I don't remember exactly what happened in all of these, but like, man, I just remember that that's a fucking running joke. <laughs> Will the witness state her name? Not <laughs> Desert Chan. Our friend told me a weird joke about Edgeworth being the best tease. I mean, he do be pretty good. Yeah. Nebraska. I am a producer of a global studio. Hey, look, he finally got one. Damn, <laughs> I'm disappointed. I thought I, I was I was kind of wishing this should be like, oh, you bore me or something. I don't know. <laughs> I was kind of hoping for that. On the day of the murder, you were in the studio, the trailer in Studio 2. I almost said Studio 2 trailer for <laughs> If everyone here knows the answer. I dislike needless banter. If you must pontificate, do it when I'm not here. <laughs> <laughs> he still gets shit. <laughs> yeah, he still gets shit. He has but, a very hard time controlling his witnesses. Oh, yes, he does, and it's great. But very well, Miss Vasquez. Please give the court your testimony concerning the day of the murder. Nick, I know she did it. Make her pay. Uh, right. If she's guilty, I'll catch her with her pants down, so to speak. <laughs> oh, Phoenix. What is wrong with uh, you? <laughs> I entered the trailer oh, a little before noon. The meeting began at 12 o'clock sharp. It ended at 4 o'clock. There was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio 1. I was fatigued, so I had Sal take me. At 2.30, we took a 15-minute break in the meeting. Sal and I ate T-bone steaks on the table in front of the trailer. We found Hammer's body later when we all went to Studio One. And that's all.
I have a question about one part of your testimony. You are fatigued, so you had Sal take you. Hmm? to do too. I didn't take me in the... Out of context, that sounds uh... <laughs> No, I know. No, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it might be risky. Also, out of No, walk. I know. Yeah. <laughs> what with the monkey that toppling over? Take me! Hey, <laughs> I see. Very well. Mr. Wright, your cross examination. <clears throat> this is the final bet. Fuck! <laughs> Water. Yeah, I already went through my bottle. <laughs> <laughs> yes i did yeah now that, that you know honestly that was a really good like gulp sfx like if you had that recorded you could easily use that for an audio i mean you just clip it after the stream's over oh yeah no that's some true shit actually this is final battle nick let's do it <clears throat> Ta -da. <sighs> And then you already know, I'm just gonna just press every single statement she has yes, by yourself? Baby. Yes. And you didn't stop in at the employee area? No. Hmm. Are you always this tierce? Yes. Oh Fucking dear. <laughs> Did no one leave during the meeting? No one. C come on, let's talk a bit more about that. Structure. The witness did not come here to engage in idle conversation. Hmm. Stop interrupting the testimony. <laughs> the same could be said to you, Mr. Edward. And please, stop banging on your little desk. It hurts my ears. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Edward. I know, that's great. And when exactly was that? I forgot. Maybe you could try remembering. No. <laughs> Damn. I love her. I love her so much. The meeting ended at four o'clock, and the rehearsal was scheduled for five o'clock. I would think it was between those times. You would think? Yeah. Come on, all you did was state the obvious, Edgeworth. <laughs> Hold on. You had Sal take you? What does that mean? Well, we just went over this. <laughs> it means what I just said. I had Sal take me in the studio to that. Oh. Oh, right. <laughs> My god, I can't. <sighs> and what were you doing during that time? Don't hit your desk. It irritates me. Yeah, Mr. Wright. <laughs> <laughs> Does it himself? I can't. It was a 15 minute break. I fucking can't <laughs> pull myself together for that one. I yeah, know. don't you fucking think. I know. I love him. <laughs> Do you have someone who can verify this? No, I mean someone else. <laughs> One person needs to know. If she committed murder, murder during that break, she wouldn't have had time to eat a T-boned steak. And they had some evidence that proved she didn't eat that steak. Well, Nick, find anything? I kind of wish she'd said a little more. It's hard. I think she's pretty used to being the boss. But I'm 
sure you'll find some kind of contradiction in what she said. Somewhere. By yourself? Right. I shall be back yet again. Okay, duck. No problem, though. And you didn't stomp in at the employee area. Oh, and I already read this. Yeah, you already did all this. Oh, That's yeah. why I, okay. I went until you were done pressing everything. Oh, okay. I didn't realize I, had, I was done pressing everything. Let me see. What, what evidence do I have? Uh, is there any evidence? At 2.30, we took a 15 minute break in the meeting. Damn, I'm trying to figure out. <laughs> huh. Remember, remember what Maya was saying at the end there. Yeah, I'm like trying to see, like you know, like trying to prove like how, like that she didn't eat the steak. But how do I prove that with the evidence I have? How do I, how do I prove that? Do I do? Do I use the van? Maybe. I recommend you. And when you can't figure something out, just present everything. After just, pre saving. just present everything. Yeah. Okay. And on the saving that you think you see. Yeah, because yeah, that's also another thing. Oh wait, no, no, I didn't want to press Q. I'm stupid. No. no. Okay. Yeah, Mr. Right. <laughs> Don't slam the desk, dickhead. In front of the trailer. Uh, presents. Uh, maybe this? Uh, Your Honor, that statement contradicts this evidence. It does. I don't see anything contradictory. Huh, really? Objection overruled. <laughs> Did I think we made really this? <laughs> yeah. Whoops, that didn't go so well. I know, because you know exactly what it is. Yes, you know, I do. You know exactly what it is, and I'm like... I've known exactly what this is when we did the first investigation. <laughs> oh, God, and it, it's going to bother me so much, because I already know, like, it's going to it's gonna kill me whenever, like, when I do find out. Let's see, say, let's see, let's see. Let, me, let me just listen to what... To what? I guess so. Uh, it's hard to think she's pretty used to being a boss, but I'm sure you know, she's got somewhere. Okay, used to being a boss. Okay. Fuck, man! <laughs> Remember the oh. table at Studio 2. The table. 
Right. At Studio Two. At Studio and Two. And compare it and, com and remember the table at Studio One. What was the main difference? I mean, isn't the difference that the table at Studio Two is smaller? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Wait, why did I press Q again? No, I didn't want to press that. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> you supposed to go off your memory. It's been a minute. It's been two weeks. Yeah. Here's the story. So I went to Studio One. I mean, when did you go to Studio One? It ended at four. But like, didn't y'all? <laughs> Wanna say this? Maybe. <laughs> I see nothing go through. I'll have to penalize you, Mr. Ryan. Oh, no. I must be on the wrong track. <laughs> yeah, okay. Let, let me let me load. Let me just load the save. <laughs> okay, let me okay, let me look at the evidence. Okay. Something about the table power this photo that has nothing to do with it. Okay. Well, here's the thing, that's where they ate, was at the table. In both of the areas. Oh, what, the T-bone steak, really? The steak plate? that to if be your memory remembered something you might have <laughs> probably hello no sorry <laughs> i have to look at something like, real quick uh, no, I was no, like, that's good. <laughs> no 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 that's good ha, as i thought hmm. you claim you ate a t-bone steak but i say you did not well, what's this now, Mr. Wright? Look at this. It's a plate. This plate was on the table in the employee area. As you can see, a large bone has been left behind. Mr. Wright, need I remind you it was a T-bone stick? Exactly my point. Remember, if you will, Mrs. Vasquez and Mr. Manella ate at a table outside the trailer. Oh, there is no bone. Yep. Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I told you to remember the table, man. No, because like, oh, okay, no, cause, you know, because I'm over here like, oh, what, like, what, what about the table and stuff? Like, yeah, there's plates there, so what? <laughs> there's no bone on them plates. Bruh. Uh, <laughs> yet there are no bones left on the plates. The plates were bare. They even mentioned that early on in the first investigation, like, what do they eat the bone? Mmm. Yeah, see, I don't remember that. <laughs> no, 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 no. It was just like, it's like, where's the bone? How'd they eat a T-bone steak without a bone? <laughs> oh, okay, I see. I remember we talked about that, too. We did right. talk about, okay, yeah. I do, I do vaguely remember us talking about it, but, like, I... <laughs> I don't know, I, I didn't really filter that as, like, something <laughs> relevant. You know, because there's a lot of banter in here. Yeah, there's a lot of banter. And stuff, you know, because, uh, no, because you know how every, how every time you go into tra uh, Powers, there's, like, uh, dressing room and stuff like that? Like, th th there's, yeah, like, like, the, the, the snacks. Yeah. yeah, like, the snacks and stuff like that. Like, I don't know, like, that could be evidence for all I know, but it's really not. Miss Vasquez, tell me, how can a person eat a T-bone steak and not leave the bone? I think I know how. <laughs> you ate the dog. bone too. You didn't eat the steak. You didn't eat any steak during that break. You took your steak and threw it somewhere, like that incinerator. I, I see. It sounds then, like a fucking I know. <laughs> then what was Miss Vasquez doing during her break? A isn't murder. It, isn't it? Obvious, your honor. 
she was meeting with the Steel Samurai. Order. Uh, uh, are you All saying? Right, step out again. Well, oh. I have to step out again real quick. Yep, no worries. Yes, Your Honor. <laughs> Imagine having a bone to pick on someone. <laughs> Literally. As Mr. Vasquez left the trailer to eat her steak, she ran into the Steel Samurai, and then you did it. You killed him with your own hands. M Mr. Wright, isn't that a little presumptuous? Oh? Yes. Hey, yo. I have returned it. it, it, it. Welcome <laughs> back. <laughs> Any day, Vasquez. This is the final battle! <laughs> Welcome to the final battle, battle, battle. Good luck, Nick. Oh, God. <laughs> Let's see. What was that murder weapon again? Oh, yes. The samurai spear. Yes. I am, as you can see, a woman of petite stature. How could they possibly use that heavy spear as a weapon? I mean, you can probably get Saul to do it. I mean, he was there. But then again, like, she is like a hardened criminal, so like, I don't know, like, my, you know. My, my, my brain just loves the third answer. It's like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, honestly, the first and second one, I'm going to go with the first one to see what the fuck happens. It's not impossible. Objection. Well, maybe it's not impossible, but... Silence. Ooh. I'm speaking. She's a bald ass bitch. Damn. Ah. The victim was stabbed through the chest from the front, yes? I believe this would indicate that the victim was aware of the killer's presence. No, the Steel Samurai costume is quite light and mobile. Compared to the victim, I am weaker and slower. <laughs> you are. Could you to be such a fight? You read the chat too, right? Yeah, I just read it, and it's like, you're not <laughs> wrong. <laughs> did not have the spear. The photograph of the steel samurai showed that the victim himself was holding it. Or do you mean to suggest that I could have wrested it away from him? Yeah. <coughs> <coughs> yeah. Take that, right? <laughs> you sounded like so. <laughs> How, I, I can't figure out how to turn my British back on. Help. Uh, you said it's so American. You sound like you're from like the Midwest. Why? Hello there. <laughs> <laughs> if you still think she did it, just show us proof. Um, uh. Hey, Nick. Look at the data we have on the steel on the samurai spear in the court record. Isn't there something in there that gets to you? Something odd about the samurai spear? Wait. Something the matter, Mr. Wright. This is, sorry, Your Honor. I'd like to take back my previous claim. Very well. I won't hold you to your claim. But I'm afraid I will have to penalize you. Oh uh, no, my HP. Uh. What is this? 
You're taking back your claim. Let's backtrack for a moment. I want to consider whether the witness could have used the samurai spear or not. However, that has no bearing on this case. Meaning? The samurai spear was not the murder weapon. What? What is the meaning of this? The spear was found laying next to the victim's body. I have proof, your honor. I can prove that the samurai spear was not used as the murder weapon. <laughs> Uses the autopsy <laughs> report that clearly says through the chest by a spear. Uh, I'm gonna assume it's this. Let's see what happens. I present my proof. The so-called murder weapon. But, but that is the murder weapon. Not so fast. Remember that the spear broke during the morning action scene run-through. But someone fixed the spear. It was it was the security lady. She fixed it with duct tape. Now tell me, how is it possible for someone to stab a man who is wearing a thick costume with this through the chest? Order. Order. Mr. Wright. What are you driving at? Think about them what's your... Silence. I'm the one who's testifying here. And I will be hurt. <laughs> are you quite sane? Are you even aware of what you're saying? If the samurai spear was not the murder weapon, then pray tell what was. How was the hammer killed? Well, Mr. Wright, can you tell us what weapon was used to kill Mr. Hammer? Do you know what it is, Gil? No, I have no idea. <laughs> Would I make a claim like that if I couldn't tell you what the weapon was? I'm afraid your confidence can sometimes be unfounded, <laughs> Mr. Wright. <laughs> Very well, let's see this murder weapon. He's not better. wrong. He's really not wrong. <laughs> Wait, it, wouldn't it just be the, the accident with the thing? Because actually, yeah, this would make sense. Look at this. Look at this photo. W what is this? Why, that's Jack Hammer standing at the top of the stairs. Order, order. If I cannot have, if I cannot have order in this trial, well, if I cannot have order, this trial will be suspended. Mr. Wright, what is this all about? This photograph is from five years ago. There was an unfortunate accident at Global Studios. This is a photo of that very accident. Not a word of this was leaked to the outside. It was a close kept secret at the studios. What does that have to do? Uh, why, am, why am I giving him... <laughs> no! Help! <laughs> no, why am I making him male Russian? No, bad voice. <laughs> bad voice actor. How, how dare you? I, I'm doing what you do with the Australian. Yeah, I do. I do. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. What does it have to... No. What? No. Please. Sure. Off? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Just think posh. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. What does it No? What the fuck is wrong? <laughs> oh, wow. Help me! Oh my god. Is she a failing actress? She's wearing the my race going down, but I shall make myself be the center of attention. In the court <laughs> what does no, it she's have to a. Do with the third case? There you go. Now you got it, more or less. You just know... had to do a little. Oh my. Oh yeah, there you go. Yeah, you know she's not a failing actress. She's actually a movie producer. Mr. Edgeworth, you still can't see it. See the fallen man in, the, in this photo. 
See how the fence post pierced him through the chest? Oh, what are you saying? Yes. What happened five years ago? Has happened again. I fucking love this OST, man. Man, that's good. Mr. Wright, continue. It's 2.30 p.m. on the day of the murder. Miss D. Vasquez meets Jack Hammer outside the Studio True 2 trailer. Then she did it. She pushed Mr. Hammer off the stairs onto the fence. Just like Mr. Hammer had himself done five years ago. Though whether she did it on purpose or by accident, I cannot say. Hmm. You know the... No. Bad. <laughs> I can't... Oh my. In other words, the victim, Mr. Hammer. He... He died in the same way that he caused another man... That he caused another man to die. Fuck! Mm. Reading! Five years ago. I really need to get Edward's voice back. I know. He's, he's an important character. <laughs> he is... Precisely. Ironic, isn't it? <laughs> Very creative, Mr. Wright. I could use a man like you on my script writing stuff. You deny that what I say is true? Mm, Mr. Wright. Let's say for the sake of argument, let him die at the trailer as you say. Yet the body was found at Studio One, was it not? In the new magistrate's costume, no less. Are you then claiming that I carried the body to Studio One? Then return to the trailer, all in the space of a 15 minute break. How could I have disposed of the body? The break in the meeting at the trailer lasted 15 minutes from 2.30 to 2.45. Could Chuck Hammer have been pushed off the stairs to his death? Then carried to Studio One and placed inside his costume? There wasn't enough time. Hmm, indeed. <laughs> well, Mr. Wright, how could she have dealt with the body? What if she had another way to carry the body, other than with her own hands? For instance? Actually, for that matter, there was no need for her to do the deed in 15 minutes. And there was a way for you to carry that body. <laughs> Interesting. Let's hear it then. Mr. Wright. Please show us how she carried the body. The van. <laughs> I was about to be like, sad. Do you understand? Okay, good. Good job. Miss Vasquez, you carried the body to Studio One, and you used the studio van to do it. This is? That's my husband, my name is Joseph. He's already on the line, maybe. <laughs> Recall your testimony. There was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio One. I was fatigued, so I had some take. I know it's Sarah Lyons, but like, you know, he's reading it from the paper, so I don't care. <laughs> okay. I was, I was just like, just don't, you don't even gotta read it out loud. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we know. Yeah. You used the van to carry the body to Studio One. Then before everyone else got there, you put the body into the Magistrate costume. Objection! Oh, Objection! Hold on, man. Don't forget, it was Salmonella that drove the van. Are you suggesting that Mr. Manella was a conspirator? Of course Salmonella has to be... has to have been a conspirator. The body had to be placed in the van and put into the costume. There's no way Miss Vasquez could have done that alone. Also, don't forget that they had to dispose of the Steel Samurai costume. They had to, because it was covered in Mr. Hammer's blood. 
They probably burned it in that small incinerator. Well, Miss Vasquez, shall I continue? Hmm. No need. You're smarter than you look, Mr. Right. Hmm. I lose, you win. It was fun. I win? Um. So, what happens next? <coughs> Don't me. Don't you have anything to say? What would you like me to say? Uh huh. I lost something like that? I just said that. But wait, so you mean D. Vasquez, so it was you? You killed Jack Hammer. <laughs> Who can say? Huh? Are you sure I did? Mr. Right. We just engaged in a battle of wit. In the result of that battle, you proved the possibility that I murdered them. R right. But that is only a possibility. Proof is another thing altogether. You lack decisive proof, Mr. Right. What? 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 Order. Mr. Edgeworth, your thoughts. Um, um, of course. It's as the witness says. Certainly. It does seem very likely she did it, but, uh, there's no proof. Edgeworth isn't sure. Well... I came here as a witness today. If you've no more questions, I'll be leaving. Nurk, what do I do now? It's one of these two choices because it's not the f no further questions. <laughs> well, it's not by Felicia? <laughs> no, definitely not. <laughs> maybe testif testify again, maybe? Testify! <laughs> yeah. That makes the most sense. I, I'd like you to testify again. Testify again. No one to give up, Miss Dora. Think about it. Even if I were to testify again, what is the point? I can only say what I said before. The truth, Mr. Right. I've already said all we need to say. What would happen if I said it again? Ah. Uh. You ask the same question, get the same answer. A waste of time. Damn. Damn. To come so far only to fail. As it seems there are no further questions, I would like to end the cross examination of the witness, Miss Vasquez. Objection! Hey, yo! Yes, Mr. Edgeworth. I was hoping to come up with a question while I was objecting, Your Honor. Are you serious? I didn't. <laughs> Wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a fucking minute. <laughs> That's so stupid, but I love it. I see, very well. Objection! Objection! Your Honor, <laughs> I request 
course that the witness testified. Exactly. But that's what I just did. You are the prosecutor, are you not? Why are you badgering me? I am your witness. I... I just want to hear your testimony again. Does it make any sense to you, Your Honor? I don't see that we have anything to gain by repeating the last several minutes. Mr. Edgeworth, I too see little mm. point in making Miss Vasquez repeat herself. What exactly did you want her to testify about? Mm. Well, yes, um... Mm. Indeed, <laughs> I say, ergo... I've seen this before. <laughs> I want to hear about what happened. Wait, okay. wrong accent. Ra wrong accent. I fuck. It's because wrong. of the way he was pausing in that part there. No, I know. It, it, it made me switch into that because of the pause. No, I know. Alright. I want to hear what you had to say. No. <laughs> Today's is not your day. It isn't. Once I'm done with her accent, I think I'll be able to find his accent again. Yeah, I know. Hmm. I will... <laughs> her. I want to... No, no, no. <laughs> oh I want God. to hear about what happened after they found the body. There you go. After they found the body. Very well. The witness will testify to the court concerning this matter. Hmm. I'm dying. <laughs> Nick! Oh shit, that's so high pitch. <laughs> Why did Edgeworth? Who knows? You probably realized she did it too. But, but. Wasn't he the one that said he always get a guilty verdict? After all that... Edgeworth. Ah, uh, yes. The, 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 uh, the alley. Let's go. <laughs> Such my beloved. <laughs> 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 I was with Sal and Orbug, the security lady, when we found the body. The assistant was there, too. Only Fowls was there. I immediately called the police, and then Powers showed up. The security lady Audubon was quite agitated, pointing at Powers, saying he did it. I asked to be left out of the proceedings. I went back to the trailer to get my script and direction notes. And then I went home. I see no issues raised by this testimony. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. Okay, Nick. We're close. Real close. She may be acting tough now. But if you put her on the spot, she's sure to falter. Find the key you need and twist the truth out of her, Nick. Right. Yeah, 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 Panda, that man got murdered. Yeah, he was, he, man was murderized. You know, whole ass hole in his chest. <laughs> <laughs> what time was that? <laughs> we were to meet at the Flavor Glock for rehearsal. So I'd say it was. When exactly did you and Mr. Manella arrive at the studio? About ten minutes before. I wasn't stuffing anybody into costumes, mind you. Are you sure about that? <laughs> Where were the other employees when you got to the studio? They weren't there yet. Well... And you could have put Hammer in that costume with Salmonella's help. Oh? What did I just say? 
Did I not just say I wasn't stuffing any bodies into any costume? You should try to listen to what people are saying, boy. Boy, the witness will continue her testimony. <laughs> Mr. Powers was taking a nap, correct? A power nap. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> so he said. Did no one go to call him? Remember. Remember what? There was a dead body lying in front of us. Yet you expect me to be calm? You certainly seem calm enough when I accused you of murder. <sighs> Back. Honestly. Wait a second, wouldn't that be the other way around? The other way around? You discovered a murdered body and one person was missing, right? Wouldn't you normally go looking for the missing person? Hmm. I have to agree with the defense on this one. Well, Miss Vasquez. Hmm. Logically speaking, perhaps. But no one there would thinking very logically, I assure you. Also, without his steel samurai costume, Powers don't really stand out. We often left him on the bus when shooting at location. No one noticed that he was missing. Poor Will. Poor, poor Powers. <laughs> mm. Well, I suppose that explains that. Very well, Miss Vasquez, you may continue. What was everyone else doing at that time? No one said a thing. It was silent. Completely silent. We stood there until power and Thor finally arrived on the scene. Sorry, sorry I'm late. Then silence. Dead silence. Silence. Hey. <clears throat> hey, Nick. Why is everyone so quiet? Somebody should do something to line things up. <laughs> During a murder case? Old bag, the security lady. Why did the security lady think Powers had done it? She said because she saw him going toward the studio. Right, the Steel Samurai. Did the detective arrest Mr. Powers based solely on the security lady's word? Perhaps not. She seemed to have also given the detective that photograph. Of course, I heard all this after the fact. Mm-hmm. That photograph, meaning the one taken by the security camera. She's not known for exhibiting the best sense of judgment when it comes to Hammer. Hmm. I don't think there's anything in there I can use. You asked to be left out? Yes. It seemed that everyone else was questioned. I'm not really fond of that sort of thing. But you can't just decide who the police will and won't question. Thankfully, the studio thinks otherwise. <laughs> they were nice enough to understand that since we were in the meeting. There was no way we could have been involved. And thus, they covered for us. Covered for you? or covered it up for you. 
There must have been a lot riding on it with all those big wigs at the meeting. I'm sure her professionals helped convince everyone they didn't require questioning. The script in your direction notes? Yes, they're quite valuable. Just wouldn't do that them stolen. No, I guess not. Wait a second. I thought you came to Studio One for a rehearsal. Why didn't you bring your script and notes? Well, I was under the impression that we wouldn't be able to rehearse anything. Why? There was a murder, after all. Who could think of rehearsing after that? Oh, yeah, I guess. Very well, Miss Vasquez. Please continue. Objection! Hey, objection! Oh? Your Honor. I have an objection to the witness's last statement. Huh? Think! Miss Vasquez said she didn't bring the script because there wouldn't be a rehearsal. Don't you see what that means? She would have had to know about the murder before going to Studio One. Oh shit! <laughs> like, yo, look. Generally, I dislike Edgeworth because you know I'm trying to beat him in the courtroom. <laughs> but yo, like, he low key kind of a real one for that. Edgeworth realized that she is most likely the guilty party here. Yeah. No. No. And which is he, like. Like, th th this, this case is very much the, Edgeworth's not that bad of a guy. Yeah, you know, because, because I, I, I'm over here thinking like, oh, he'll do anything to get guilty. And there's all those bad rumors about him. So. Yeah, exactly. And stuff. But like, no, I see that like, yeah, he does have an ego and everything. So, and like, he, he plays a little dirty, you know, but, but, you know, once he realizes that someone else <laughs> is actually. Updated autopsy report. <laughs> yeah. I know. No, and then, and but once he realizes, like, oh shit, this person's guilty, I bet I gotta put him in jail. I gotta get them guilty now, even as my witness. Yeah, like you can see, he was struggling with the fact that, like, he was like, yeah, no, she, like, he, he was struggling to defend her. <laughs> when it's like, yeah, she, 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 there is no proof that she's the one that did it, no matter how likely it is. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. It, it, it hurt him physically. It did. It was in it, he was in it, but that hole looked like they went on a damn scavenger hunt in him. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> he gave me his heart, but she poked too hard. Aww. Okay. Oh, no. Order. Order. Mr. Edgeworth. Mm. What you have just said is a reasonable observation. However, I find it hard to understand why the prosecution would make such a move. What are you thinking of a career change in defense? I appreciate the concern, Your Honor. I will stand by my statement, however. Regardless of how the court sees my role is, I got it back! Hello. Now, Miss Vasquez. Do you have an explanation? I can't believe Edgeworth is helping me. Hmm. So the prosecution is in cahoots with the defense. What kind of court is this? No matter. I think you misunderstood me. I had a perfectly good reason to believe there would be no rehearsal. Hmm. Very well. The witness will change her testimony to reflect this reason. I knew that Emma was injured and couldn't do any action scenes, so I left them behind. Wait, how would you know that, though? I, th I think that's sus. How do you know about the injury? How, how, how did I know? Sal, he told me. 
sell a director. Hmm. You have to find something. <coughs> you have to find some. Fuck! Fuck! Now I can't get her! Damn it! Damn. <coughs> ah, no! That's way too. Ah. <gasps> oh my goodness. You have to find something to peg this on her here. For everything we've done till now, have been wasted. I believe in you, Nick. Go get him. And that's the last one. And that's what got added. <laughs> yeah, okay. Hmm. Dun 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 Yeah, I actually don't. I honestly have no idea. I don't. I don't see any type of correlation or contradiction with the evidence at hand. I don't know. Read her last statement carefully. Hammer who was injured, it was Powers who was injured. He, only, he was only faking it. Oh! Yeah, that fucking sly. It is very sly, yeah. Um, I guess, yeah, Samurai Spear was the closest thing to that. I think. <laughs> It's it's just the wrong piece, isn't it? Damn it. Damn. Okay, wait, what piece of it is um... Is it is it really the powers photograph? Well, I mean that's not actually powers, is it? No, it's Hammer. And the only reason why she would think that Hammer is injured is if she saw him limping. And if he were to be limping, he would be doing that while wearing the, the steel samurai costume. Samurai costume. Yeah. Wait, so then how do I prove that? How do I, what? 
picture of the costume. That's, that's, that's oh. what you were saying. Oh, okay. Because that's what she would have seen. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you knew that Hammer was injured? Don't you think that's a little funny? I mean, it was still Samurai who was injured. It was Will Powers. What? Mr. Wright, explain yourself. Yes, Mr. Hammer is dragging his leg in this photo. But that's because he was pretending to be Mr. Powers. Pretending? One person was injured in the run-through that morning. That person was Mr. Powers, not Mr. Hammer. Now, why do you think it was Mr. Hammer who was injured? Well, I already said it was the fellow who told me. That's right, he must have gotten it wrong. I think not. Mr. Manila was at the run-through that morning. He would have known it was Mr. Powers who was injured. He saw it happen. Why would he tell you the wrong person? Miss Vasquez. Actually, you didn't hear anything from Mr. Manella. You saw Mr. Hammer limping with your own eyes. Yes, but wasn't it Mr. Powers who was injured? Yes, but remember, Mr. Hammer was dragging his leg too. He was pretending to be Mr. Powers. Ah. Uh, and when was he doing this? Well... It would have been... It would have had to have been after he put on the Steel Samurai costume. And went to Studio 2, where he was murdered. Murdered. <laughs> exactly. Miss Vasquez, you met him, didn't you? You saw the Steel Samurai limping. And Mr. Hammer was in that Steel Samurai suit. That's why you were confused. That's why you thought it was Mr. Hammer who had been injured that morning. Order, order. I will have order. Wartness. Can you refute this claim? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, let's see you sneak out of this one, Vasquez. Very well. I have a question for you. Ugh. Why are the real killers always so persistent? Why in the world would I want Mr. Hammer dead? Yes, he's falling on hard times, but he was a star. I had nothing to gain from his death. Nothing. Hmm. Yes, you would need a motive. Why would she have killed the victim? If there is a reason, it is unclear to this court. Does the defense have anything to say on the matter? In other words, can you prove she had a motive? Okay. I have proof, and I'll show it to you. I presented the court evidence as to Miss Vasquez's motive in this murder. Uh, 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 that's a great question. <laughs> I don't have no fucking idea. <laughs> what? I feel like it's the five year old photo, kinda. Maybe, I have no idea. It's the only thing that comes to mind. I'll try it. This is my proof. This is the photo from before. Oh wait, that, whatever. Yep. Yep. This photo reveals the motive in this murder. Hmm. I'm right, aren't I, Miss Vasquez? Five years ago, Mr. Hammer was at the height of his fame. With D. Vasquez's help, a terrible accident was swept under the carpet. Ladies and gentlemen, the case currently up for trial. It began on that day five years ago. 
Ironically enough, that, ac that a accident precipitated Mr. Hammer's fall. His fall from stardom. His guilt weighed him down, no doubt. No? <laughs> However, you, D. Vasquez, used Mr. Hammer. You made him work for you for petty change. <sighs> you got this. You got this. Fuck. <laughs> Damn it, I can't, man. Why do I keep going through the thing like this? I, I can't. I don't know. Mm. <laughs> Bringing us to the present. Bringing us to the present day. In Mr. Hammer's last role as the evil magistrate. Yes, un undoubtedly it was a constant source of shame for the X Star. Hmm. One moment, Mr. Wright. We are talking about motives here, yet you have only talked about Mr. Hammer. It almost seems as if. as if. It was Mr. Hammer who had killed D. Vasquez, not the other way around. What motive would Miss Vasquez have? Y yes, that's right. According to what you say, he would have had no reason to kill Emma. He was a good source of income for me. And I never get rid of useful men. It's a policy of mine. Mr. Wright. Please explain Miss Vasco's motive for murder. Okay. Allow me to present to the court evidence proving Miss Vasco's motive. I don't know. 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 Name <laughs> <laughs> the next chance you get, by the way. I'm trying to. Like okay. 100%, you need to stay the next chance you, you, you can because I, I have the feeling that you're gonna game over. <laughs> I most likely will, because I don't have the brain cells today to actually figure this shit out. <laughs> oh, okay. oh, I misclicked. Okay. <laughs> Mr. And you find your know. marbles immediately. Yes, you were saying you lost your marbles. Yeah. <laughs> I'm afraid I have to penalize you for this waste of the court's time. Okay, now let me save. <laughs> Save the save! Gotta save the save. <laughs> Nick, we're so close. Fuck. Think this one through, please. Mr. Wright, I'll ask you again. Please explain Miss Vasquez's motive for murder. Okay, I don't. Uh... Wait a minute. See you, see you go between the two answers. Watch me get a game over. <laughs> she had no motive, Your Honor. What's that now? It was Mr. Hammer who was out for blood. 
All Miss Vasquez did was push him off the stairs in self-defense. Oh, actually, that does make sense. <laughs> oh, fuck. I was dying. I was, I'm thinking that you're going to be like, no, I have to present evidence to get a game over. I mean, that's usually how it yeah. <laughs> Watch that now. It's simple. Mr. Hammer was intending to kill Miss Vasquez. What? Your Honor. I love this song. Jack Hammer drugged Mr. Power to sleeping pills. Jack Hammer snuck into the dressing room and stole the Steel Samurai costume. Jack Hammer wore the costume to fool the security lady into thinking he was Powers. Then Jack Hammer made his way to the trailer. And for what purpose, you ask? To kill D. Vasquez, who had so cruelly taken advantage of him all those years. Gonna, yep, I knew it. She's going to break it. I knew it. So you did do it, didn't you? Yes. I am guilty. It was me. Okay, uh... I think... I think this is supposed to be... I think this is... Okay, I, I'm gonna do this. Someone called an ambulance. I think this is her. Okay. The, the blood did be delayed. We're too late. Because she was there. I mean, we saw her in the picture. Uh, that would not be her. Because nope. that's somebody. Ah, Miss Vasquez! <laughs> <laughs> ah. What happened here? Manual fell from the trailer stairs. Oh, this is the flashback. Manuel! Manuel! Oh, yeah. I think that was her. See, I hate that they do this like this here. I know. It, it Ms. Makes... Vasco, please try to remain calm. No, no. How could this? It was an accident. Mr. Hammer was doing an action scene on... No, Manuel, Manuel. I love how I'm just doing this, by the way. No, I know it's great. It's great because because you can easily just... we don't know who who's who's who, so like going yeah, back and forth would hurt. I know. No. Please, please don't die. Please. Damn. Congratulations, Mr. Red. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't call her a heartless hack. He was going to kill her, and so she pushed him, and he fell on a fence. Yeah, self-defense. <laughs> so if anything, like, your husband is she, the murderer. Is, well, yeah, you know, she, she, she just didn't want to have to go to jail for manslaughter. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. This was the but now she'll vote for manslaughter and for obstruction of justice. Uh -huh. Mr. Edgeworth, where's D. Vasquez? In the waiting lobby, Your Honor. As calm and collected as ever. I see. She's so different from all the other uh, verdicts that we've had so far. Oh, where yeah. she's actually not breaking down, going insane, foaming at the mouth. Which is so interesting. But yeah, Mr. Yeah, it's just right. cool. Yeah. Yes, Your Honor. It appears you have brought about yet another miracle. <laughs> I thank you, Your Honor. I think not, Your Honor. Will Pallers was innocent. That he should be found so is only natural, not a miracle. Yes. Yes, you're right. Very well. This court finds the defendant, Mr. Will Powers, not guilty. I mean, it was quite clear that Hammer was premeditating a murder. Yeah, it was. <laughs> that is all. 
This court is adjourned. Wow, we did it. We did it. Yeah, we did it. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I, don't the, I don't know the Spanish part of the Dora song. Oh. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, right. I gotta be well now. <clears throat> oh, I, I don't know what to say. Thank you so much. I'm just glad you're okay. Yes, but it's sad. I know now that Mr. Hammer stole my costume. It's bad enough that he wanted to kill Miss Vasquez, but to think that he tried to frame me for the murder, it makes me sad. Tell me why, Mr. Wright. Huh? Tell me, why did Mr. Hammer want to blame me? To <laughs> show evidence? <laughs> Is there Remember any... you have one of these, you have, you have this after almost every single case, there's a thing where you get one chance to show evidence, so save. Oh, fuck. <laughs> they always ask you a question like this after each uh, trial, like end of thing. Hey, Loki forgot. <laughs> Mr. It's Hammer. Been a lot. Yeah. Um. Yeah. No, it's definitely it's gotta be the samurai scrapbook. It has to be. Take that. It's because you were the steel samurai. Because I was the steel samurai. Mr. Hammer was a big star once, but he was reduced to acting in a kid's show and as the villain to boot. The kids loved the Steel Samurai, and so he hated you. Oh, I, oh, I think I'll understand. He, he, he could have just told me. I would have changed places with him any time. I think you're missing the point. Thank you. I'm just glad it's all over. So am I... So am I... Congratulations, WP. Oh, oh. <laughs> thanks to you, I'll be able to don the steel samurai outfit once more. I can't wait to get back into that sweaty costume end. Eh? Is something wrong? <laughs> uh, no, of course not. <clears throat> <laughs> It's so strange seeing him from like a seeing him like, at this angle. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, the fucking McDonald's hair <laughs> looking <laughs> ass booty. It's, it's and it's crooked too. It's like off to the side, like a diagonal angle. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Bro, how, how are you gonna get like a McDonald's ass <laughs> yeah. hairline and it not be straight? What the fuck? Bro, no, it's funny because when you look at him from different angles, hold on. Say something right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're saying? His, his hair from different angles actually looks inconsistent. Like, people always talk about, what, what is the physics of his hair? <laughs> All right. Like, yeah. the side angle and the front angle look so different. <laughs> it really does. It really like, it doesn't does. even look consistent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, honestly, yeah. Oh, but it's funny. I'm not good at small talk. Huh? What? Um, that was too bad, Edgeworth. You don't waste any time floating, do you? No, I really want to thank you. Yeah, look at this angle. Did you see that it, angle? It there? was so weird. <laughs> Vas I love it. Vasquez. <laughs> makes no sense. I know, it really doesn't. Okay. Vasquez would have gotten away if you hadn't stepped in. Oh, oh. Please submit your own powers. Ah, uh, er, uh, Edgeworth. I'm a big fan of your work, Mr. Powers. Liar. <laughs> right. I must say, I hadn't expected to meet you again after all these years. Wait, what? Meet again? However, in retrospect, it would have been better had we not met. Thanks to you, I am saddled with unnecessary feelings. Wait, what? Unnecessary feelings? Yes, unease and 
uncertainty. Oh, okay. For a second, I thought he was going to confess to me. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people ship these two together because of this line. I could, yeah, I could definitely see why. Aren't those kind of necessary? They only serve to get in my way. You listen to me, Phoenix Wright. Don't ever show your face in front of me again. That's what I came here to tell you. Yeah, up until, you know, we have another case, but sure, whatever. Um, Mr. Roy, was let go of your friend? What? Friends? As if. They're rivals. Rivals. Right, Nick? For now we are. I guess. <laughs> why do I get this feeling that I'm missing something? Okay, you know, I can definitely see why people would ship them. Come on, Nick. Tell me. What's the deal with you and Edgeworth? <laughs> oh, God. And so the curtain closed on another trial. I caused quite a stir by revealing that accident from five years ago. It was the talk of the town. Thankfully, Global Studios rethought it was programming change. They went back to making kid shows again. Oh my god. Nick! This is it! The new show starts today! You wanna watch it with me, right? I'll admit I was kind of surprised. I didn't think they'd seriously go through with it. <laughs> you have to buy training cards too, okay? We have to train with Cody and the assistant. Fine, fine, I'll do it. Isn't it great that WP gets to play the lead again? I wonder if they'll show his real face this time. I don't know. I don't think the world is ready for the real Will Powers. He's playing the main character, i.e. the pretty princess. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I, sort of, I sort of figured that. I was talking her like, yeah, I don't think people are really gonna... A brand new episode has been added. Wow. The penultimate episode, or original ultimate episode, before they released the game a second time. Because there's an extra case in the uh, game that wasn't in the original original after this. But this would be the original final case of the original game, this fourth case. Oh. Yes. Oh, I guess we're just going right into this. I mean, it doesn't give me a, a choice to go back to the menu, so... It's been, what, 15 years? About that, yeah. 15 years is a long time to wait. You can't imagine how much I've suffered. You... You've suffered? But now, the perfect opportunity has presented itself. At last, I shall have my revenge. What? Oh, shit. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Oh shit, that's one way to that's, that's that's a Christmas gift and a half. Oh <gasps> Edgeworth <laughs> What no way. It's Christmas What? What? <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, do you know if there are any good waterfalls around here? Waterfalls? Dare ask why. Duh, <clears throat> Nick. Isn't it obvious? I need a waterfall to stand under. Preferably a freezing one. Oh, is that part of your spirit medium training? Of course. Except, I've been slacking off lately. I need to brave the elements and be forged anew under the rushing spring waters. Um, okay. I don't know about any falls per se, but Gord Lake is pretty close. Oh, darn. Sorry, but damn's the freaks. Can you just take a cold shower or something? <laughs> Good idea! <laughs> so much for rushing spring waters. Next. Next in the nose. <laughs> oh, you want to do it? Yeah, sure. A large identified animal was sighted at Gord Lake. The town is buzzing with excitement. 
Locals are calling it Gordy, in a tip of the hat to Nessie, the Loch Ness Monster. Though its namesake Nessie proved to be a hoax. Locals are confident their Gordy is the real deal. Ugh, boring. Can they show real news for a change? Nick? Hmm? The water pressure's kind of low in that shower. You want more pressure, huh? Why don't you go down to the fire department and have them spray you with the hose? I love Phoenix, man. Mm, bruh. Good idea, Nick. Bruh. Apparently, Faye Blood is no aid in detecting sarcasm. Hello, honey. Oh, chamomile, hi. Hello. How are you okay, doing? Okay, this is a different uh, broadcast, so I'll do this one. We interrupt this program to bring you special news bulletin. Stranger Carson continue to go on the lake, but this time it's murder. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I, glad I got to say I, that. I love, I love the fact that like the the news anchors that we, the voices we chose are like two different types of voice anchors, and I love that. Gord Lake mm -hmm. again. The body of a man was found in the lake early this morning. A suspect was apprehended. Sources inside the police department revealed. The suspect's name is Miles Edgeworth, age 24. Wait, what? He's 24? Edward, yeah. <laughs> I thought he was a little bit older than that, to be honest. No, he just has gray hair. <laughs> oh, okay. Anime. I mean, Phoenix has blue hair. I know, but still. I mean, well, bluish and black hair, kind of. Yeah, but still. Edward was an up and coming prosecutor, known for his skill and connection. He was a guaranteed and long broadened career. Has he thrown it all away? DP, look, look, look in the chat. Look in the chat. Do it. It's murder! <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Edgeworth? What's going on? Edgeworth would never do something like... Nick? Yes, M Maya. The fireman yelled at me when I called him. <laughs> she actually called the fire <laughs> department. <laughs> yes, yes, she did. I love her. Oh, that's funny. Oh, that's really funny. <clears throat> We've got bigger things to worry about than that. They arrested Edgeworth. What? You mean the prosecutor? Yeah, he's a suspect in a murder. What? When? Where? Who? Why? How? I I, I don't know. Let's go find out, Nick. Da. And then, you know, da, 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 it's pretty da, obvious da. that we're going to be ending things here. It's been like two hours now. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Even though who the plot hook at the very fucking start of this case is. I know. It's crazy. It is wild. But, yes, everyone, thank you again for tuning into the stream and just witnessing our madness for whatever reason. I don't know why. <laughs> I cry every Tim. I cry every Tim. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Thank you for joining. Thank you for watching the stream and everything. And, you know, if you're watching this as, like, a video instead of a stream, and if you've, you know, spent the last two hours watching this, thank you very much. And I am so, so sorry if you lost any brain cells watching, <laughs> watching this video. <laughs> But yes. Or hearing. Or hearing it, yes. Yeah. Uh, but yes. Anyways. You know, thank you again. And then Sunday, because I know I didn't stream last week because things popped up and everything. But this week on Sunday, I will finish Tekken 8. I'm doing the second half of the story mode. I will finish that. And, and then, yeah. You know, that's pretty much it. You know, and as y'all know who's been here i usually stream on friday nights and sunday nights around like 8 or 8 30 p.m est time so yeah i uh, hope to see everyone on sunday but yes uh you got anything else you want to say dp you're not ready for uh, this case gamma <laughs> oh shit okay well i mean i wasn't expecting the plot twist that it's edgeworth who who allegedly committed a murder 
and I was not and I was not ready to hear that he's 24 years old and that his first name is actually Miles. I was not expecting that. I thought it'd be something else. But anyways, but yeah. I thought that you already knew. I, I, I'm pretty sure they introduced him as Mr. Miles Edgeworth. No. TP, you know I have a shit memory, <laughs> so <laughs> you know I have a shit memory. True, 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 true. Yeah, 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 yeah. But either way, but yes. Um, yeah, so I guess that is the end of the stream. I'll see you. everyone later. Next